down thy boat! Hello everyone and welcome to the Canadian Redneck Channel. My name's Dave and today we have a new project on the go. We've got a 1200 David Brown here uh, with unknown engine problems. Uh, they were using it uh, to run a wood splitter and started uh, knocking, I guess, and blowing smoke at the breather pipe, which is never a good thing. So uh, we're going to do a little exploratory surgery and see what's happening here. Uh, the owner thinks it might be a broken crank, so we'll start with that. Uh, I've got the oil already drained, and we'll drop the oil pan and see what's going on in there. All right, we get ourselves all tucked in underneath the motor here where we can get at the oil pan. i uh, got our handy-dandy coffee can here for bolts. We'll get going. Big old hunk of silicone laying in there, that's never a good sign. As you can see, nothing looks out of place in there with the crank. Everything seems all lined up the way it's supposed to. So I don't believe that's the problem. Uh, I have seen them break in a journal before and the pieces hang together. Uh, they would cut a knock and make some noise, but still running and keeping time and so on <sighs> so I don't believe that's our problem uh, I'm kinda leaning towards possibly some teeth off on the timing gears possibly so I guess the next step is to get into the front of the engine and see what's going on there to get at the timing gears at the front of the engine, we're going to have to get it up to the hood and sheet metal off to get the radiator out of the way to give us a little room to work. So we'll get going at that, get some stuff uh, pulled down so we can see what we're doing. Alright, we've got the radiator and radiator cover off, uh, unbolted the hydraulic pump and moved it ahead, the drive shaft grew it ahead, so we can finally get at what we want to take apart now. Uh, we'll get the nut off this front pulley and take this front timing cover off so we can see what's going on with the timing gears in there. Okay, well right off the bat, I can see definite problems there. Laying in the bottom of the front cover was this nut. And that's never a good sign. And I'm not sure if you can see in here or not, but all kinds of teeth from timing gears down there in the bottom of that cover. So that is definitely the issue. And I can see yeah, a couple of gears with teeth off, one of them being the injector pump gear. Yep. Broken tooth on the cam gear and they're all chewed on the ends here. Oh yeah, a bunch off the uh, crank gear down here. So yeah, that would certainly cause trouble. Good enough. Well, now we know what the problem is. Next step is to go about fixing it. I'm going to have to uh, do some checking out, see about getting some parts in here to start putting this back together with. So, I guess uh, repair is stage two. Now we know what the problem is, we'll have to get all these gears stripped off so, and so we can identify them and get the proper gears ordered to go back together.
I don't have a puller that will fit onto this gear so I'm gonna to have to put a pry bar in behind to keep pressure on it and then hit it carefully with the brass hammer on the front. I put the nut on here and hit carefully here with the brass hammer so that we don't damage the threads. Okay, and we'll try the same process with the uh, cam here, basically. Bottom the bolt out in the thread so it won't damage the threads. And I'll keep the pressure on the cam. And it's coming, slowly, but coming. So we have our gears all off here, so what we do now to identify is we will get the casting number off of each gear, there's a number here and a number here, we'll count the teeth around for each gear, and each gear will have casting numbers on them, except for the crank gear because there's no space to put a casting number on it. There's no number stamped in it or anything, no casting number, but we'll get tooth counts as best as we can tell, and even where the teeth are off, you can tell where they had been. So we'll get teeth counts and casting numbers off each gear, and see about ordering a new set, or another set anyway. We have our parts assembled now for putting the uh, David Brown back together. We have our gears here. And I'm trying to stay out of the sun so you can see. But I've put a little paint dot. I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's showing up on the camera. It's hard to tell. But I've put a little paint dot on each of the timing marks on the teeth, on the gears. So you can see where they fit together. But on the cam gear and the injector pump gear, there's one dot. And it goes between two dots on the idler gear. And then there's two dots on the crank and there's one dot here on the idler gear that fits uh, in the valley in between the two dots on the cam gear or sorry the crank gear and there's one dot here on the crank gear to index the key which is kind of pointless because you have a keyway for doing that anyway and uh, in the process of cleaning things up kind of discovered what I believe caused the problem here in the uh, front timing cover you can see where there's this wear pattern here on the front cover where the uh, hydraulic pump gear was out against and rubbing on the front cover because that new nut that I found inside there had come off the hydraulic pump and dropped down inside and at some point they either changed the hydraulic pump and gear or they pulled the hydraulic pump off and put a new nut on but nobody ever bothered to fish the nut out and that got picked up in the gears and that's what caused all the trouble so while we have everything out here and assembled on the table uh, I'm gonna change the front seal and that cover so that it's ready to go when uh, when I get ready for putting the front cover on so we'll get started and start at the uh, reassembly process okay, so I'm gonna just support this front cover on that gear, give it a little support, drive the old seal out. I'm going to stack a couple of neat gears underneath it here for support so we don't break the cover. Yep, no, we need them both. Go. 
Well, that goes in pretty easy. I used a seal driver because I have them, but I mean, I've driven in lots of seals with a chunk of 2x4 or something like that before too. As long as you're careful and drive everything square, you'll have no trouble. Okay, these pieces are all ready. It's time now to start putting gears back on the, on the tractor. Okay, we'll start with the crank gear. And then we're going to have to turn the crank so it lines up with the... Uh, so the timing marks line up with where the idler gear is going to be. So it's going to take some gentle encouragement like taps. So now we have to try to turn the crank up around to match up to the uh, idler gear. There we go, that lines up. Yeah, that should line up pretty good there. We might have to adjust it when we put the other gear on. Now, we need to uh, fish a piece of wire through and lock this bolt. Once the nut on the injector top pump is tight, you turn down a locking tab tight against one of the flats of the nuts. Now the idler gear spins on this shaft, so we'll want to make sure we have a good amount of oil on there for it to start with. Make sure it's lubricated well because it's going to be a minute before it will get oil up from the pump. And we want to get our injector pump turned to line up. There we go. Everything lines up. And then this piece we start, and you don't want to go too far with it because there's shims that go underneath it. And you want to be careful to keep them sorted out and separate when you take them off, or at least be very aware when you put them back together to have the same thickness on both sides because there's thinner and thicker shims. once when you fish them into place you're going to want to get this tightened up fairly quick or they'll fall out
Okay, we've got our engine all back together. We've got our fluids filled up, oiled and uh, coolant put in. Um, we'll give her a try here, see if she'll start up now. Everything sounding like it's supposed to. It's a sign of a job well done. So uh, we'll finish getting our tin and stuff on now and it'll be ready to go. So anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video about timing gears for uh, David Brown. And as always, uh, you know, you can leave your comments or questions in the comment section below. And like, subscribe, and have a great day.